Hello everyone. Yes, we found the lions. Give me a second. Everyone's excited now. And they're just trying to get hold of me on the radio. Uh, go ahead, tax. I'm located on the Nkuma Pride. Um, we on that little link from Gallego shortcut that heads up to um, to Buffalo Catlin. Yes, we found them. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I, I must have. Um, not that far. If you if you head down that link, you know where it it, it curves and it cuts almost directly, um, directly northwest again um, before it leads up to those little mud wallows, and um, we're just uh, just to the east of that. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm just going to move a little bit forward quickly because I want to show you the rest of the pride. Um, oh, this is wonderful. I haven't seen the Nkuma pride for ages. Oh, hold on. They're all tucked in there trying to stay warm. It's not that cold, but um, there are some little ones hiding in there too. Stump in front of me. There we go. Oh, is that Fergs? Can you get them through there? That's lovely. Hold on. Get a nice view of them for you. Look, Izzy, you say, look at the pretty girl, beautiful female um, of the Nkuma pride. And look at that. Look at them all huddled together there. All the faces of the lions. <laughs> Doesn't that look cozy? Oh, well, like I said, <clears throat> oh, it's lovely to see them. I'm so glad we found them. You see, just like I, I thought that um, that um, a, uh, the bush eventually will will just uh, produce for us, and it has. And we were scanning, we were driving very slowly. I said to Fergus, I was like, I'm sure we're going to find these lines in this area. And Fergus spotted the line. It's just off the side of the road. And uh, the rest of the pride is lying just in that little thicker area. Look at this. Oh, really wonderful to see some lines again. And as I said, I'm just so excited because I haven't seen this pride for quite some time. Now, apparently there is one lioness that has got uh, a little cub, so I'm looking out for it. I'm hoping to see it. I wonder if it is with the pride at the moment. I'm sure it is. Maybe hiding in there somewhere. There's another lioness in the grass at the back. Snarky, you said you'd like to climb right in the middle of those lions. I don't know if that would be a very good idea. Um, with those youngsters around, those lionesses would be very protective over them. But it does look cozy. I know what you mean. It looks very comfortable and cozy. Uh, excuse me a second. Good morning, Chat. It's Byron. Go ahead. Copy that hat. At this stage, the animals are, are lying down um, uh, flat out at the moment. And I know Texan and I think Aubrey are making their way in here. We'll give you, uh, we'll give you an update as soon as we move out. Um. <laughs> Ellen, you say it's a blanket of lions. Oh does look like it doesn't it oh, that's a wonderful view of them now these lions would most likely have been moving around during the course of the evening and um, I'm not exactly sure where they were before I don't know if they saw them yesterday um, but they have come up from the northern or just north of us so from the Biffleshook area they've come down here so they've most likely been moving around 
quite a lot, possibly trying to hunt. I'm not sure how hungry they are. Um, doesn't look like they, they're really well fed. So lions are always opportunistic. They would try and hunt when they are moving around. But now, because they've been moving around for a few hours, it's, it's a great time to rest a little bit. I do think that these lions may decide to get up at some point and move again. Now, while the morning is still very cool, um, but we'll see. We'll spend some time with them and just uh, work out exactly what their plan is or if they end up hanging around here for the day and moving later this afternoon. That would be lovely too. Hopefully we'll get to see them again this afternoon. I'm sure we will. And even though these lions look so peaceful and so relaxed and sleepy, they are still completely alert and aware of what's going on around them. That's a beautiful picture. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, this, this has made me very happy. I know a lot of you are, are itching to see that little cub that um, the one lioness has. I can't see any sign of a little cub just yet, but that's why we'll spend some time here and see. Perhaps it is lying in there somewhere or behind the lions. There was another lioness at the back. So I'm hoping that little cub is around. Robert, um, you are correct. Uh, this is the pride that has the lioness in it that is known as Amber Eyes. Um, now, I still um, struggle a little bit with, uh, with identifying. I haven't seen this pride enough times to really identify Amber Eyes, um, but, but she is part of this pride. And I think she is the one, if I'm not mistaken, that lioness is the one that has got the cubs at the moment. So, um, I think, uh, yeah, hey, Fern, make your way straight in. I think, uh, she is here somewhere. I just, but like I said, there's one or two, one or two lionesses lying at the back, just behind that clump of lions. Some of the other guests are going to join us soon. So hopefully they'll be able to get a view of them. Daniel, and uh, Daniel, you're 13 years old. Good morning, Daniel. Well, from South Africa, at least. Good morning. Um, you asked who would win a fight between a lion or a leopard. Well, Daniel, um, it would most likely be a lion because a lion is just much larger than a leopard, and both cats are very, very powerful. And a leopard is probably, I would say, um, pound for pound, the strongest of the two. Um, of the two cats, but I think purely from the size, a lion would most likely win, although leopards are very agile and very, very powerful. Uh, I'm going to see if we can reposition a little bit and try and give everyone else a view of these lions too, shortly.
So, Stanley, you asked why the lions need so much sleep compared to some of the other animals. Well, Stanley, the thing is the lions, the lions are, are clever, actually, if you think about it. And I say this because the lions conserve their energy. So when they, when they need to hunt or need to move around, they've got enough energy to do so. Now, in winter, Stanley, lions will move around a lot more because the temperatures are much cooler and it's more pleasant for them to move around in the cooler conditions. That's why lions generally move a lot um, at night, with the cool temperatures and also under the cover of darkness, it's easier for them to hunt. So that is why the, the lions would conserve their energy during the day and then move around a huge amount um, or huge distance at least at night. So if you think um, if you think of us now when we fast asleep at home, these lions are moving around. So that's uh, that's the difference. So they prefer to rest during the day. I see that lioness cleaning and grooming herself a little bit. Miss Sky, you asked who can run faster, a leopard or a lion. So the charging speed, now we learn about the charging speeds of these animals. Look at those paws. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful lion paws. Um, so the charging speed of a lion is about 20 to 22 meters per second. So that's really, really fast. But a leopard is slightly faster the charging speed. Now they can't keep up those speeds for long distances. Um, you know, a cheetah could probably run top speed of about 110 kilometers an hour. What's that? About 60 miles an hour um, for about 100 to 200 meters or so, and then they usually um, heat up quite quickly. But lionesses, or lions at, at least, um, can run a bit further, but they won't keep a, a, a big speed up. Their charging speed is more of the when they launch their attack and try and stalk and hunt animals and that will be 20, 30, maybe 40 meters. That's it. So that will be a short burst, a very quick pace, um, but the leopard is slightly quicker than a lion. Look at that. That's such a wonderful view of this lioness. Now Angie, all the way from Wisconsin, you commented on the white under the eyes, and you wanted to know if those are the um, are those made to look like eyes when they are sleeping, so that it keeps other animals away. No, Angie, not at all. The main reason for those that white coloration, and you can see it very clearly under the under the eyes of that lion, is um, is it is there to reflect light to the eye, especially at night. Now their nocturnal vision is far better than ours, so the reason for this, um, for those white markings, is to to reflect light to the eye, to allow their vision to be even better at night, mostly at night. So that is the reason for those um, white markings under the eye. I oh, look at that. Really, really lovely. All right. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to maybe try and reposition here slightly, and then um, uh, let's get back to Tristan and just see how his morning is going, and we'll see you all shortly again.